Hello everyone, and I'm sure that you're aware this is going to be a little bit of a different video today. Previously on the channel, we've just been doing more of me chatting to you, I guess, with informational videos. And in this one, I'm going to be doing some chart work where I will be showing you my current uh, strategy for S&P 500 investing. Now, I, it is trading, I guess, but the mindset I'm coming to this is investing. So I hope that you enjoy this video. It's a little bit of a different um, strategy for you to see on the channel. Uh, we've uh, After this video, we've literally done everything from uh, one minute, hourly, daily, weekly, and now we're going to be doing monthly. So that wasn't on purpose, but I'm just showing you the trading that I'm currently doing on uh, my personal account and the uh, students or mentoring um, group that I have on Discord. If you want to join that, by the way, hit the join button below and you'll be able to do so. So let's get into the video for today. Uh, I'm sure that some of you are aware that I had my biggest day trading on my personal account um, of £3,000 or somewhere around £3,000. I will put a screenshot up on the screen right now uh, of that amount. Now, obviously, I'm not saying this strategy was the reason I did that. That that amount of money means this strategy is good. You know, there was there's been a lot of strategies on this channel that are good, and you know you can pick any one you want. The the reason I'm showing you this one right now is just because this is my current strategy for the way that I like to trade. So the strategy has two main areas: fundamental and technical. And we combine them to create a strategy that gives us a long-term perspective combined with a short-term perspective. The fundamental analysis gives me around a 12-month outlook, okay? And that is what I use to say, okay, are we going to be up? Is the growth for the uh, US going to be higher than it currently is? Are we expecting growth over the next 12 months? Yes or no? And that is how I... That's the only thing I look for within my fundamental analysis. I am only trading one um, asset, and that is the S&P 500. So you could say I'm trading 500 assets, but the S&P 500 is the only thing that I'm executing the trades on. Um, and all of my fundamental analysis leads to, do I think the S&P is going to be higher or lower in 12 months time? I then use my technical analysis, so the shorter term, technical analysis to find entries. I am not using my fundamental analysis to find entries. I'm using my technical analysis. And the technical analysis is on the charts. The fundament fundamental is obviously not. The strategy that I'm using is long only. I'm never going short. Um, I'm only going long. Looking to hold the trades between 3 to 12 weeks somewhere around there, um, anywhere between that kind of range of time. The reason for this is for two reasons. So number one is the market typically goes up. So there's no point in me closing positions early. Um, by early, I mean anything less than three weeks because I'm not giving the market enough time to move up. And the second reason is I receive dividends. So the longer I hold it, the more dividends I get on that position. And I think in um, in MT5, it is called interest. So now I could be wrong on that, um, but I assume that it's dividends. If it's not, then I'm not sure what it is, but you're getting interest on the position. So either way, money is coming in every single day that I'm holding it. So there's no point in closing early when there's so much potential upside. And the way that I'm kind of thinking about this is I'm investing in the top 500 companies in the US in a single position and I'm not trading them. So I'm investing in 500 companies um, on a trading platform for multiple reasons. So number one is leverage. Uh, number two is I can see the charts and I prefer to um, buy and hold on a trading platform that is sometimes faster with execution speeds depending on who you're using. The the Actual investing platforms I've used have been quite slow. Um, they also um, can hide things. So uh, I'm not going to say who, but there was a platform that I was using for my stock holdings and they wouldn't give you all the information. So they wouldn't give you how much the fees were for holding. 
Uh, they wouldn't give you the swap fees, the interest, the uh, all the fees, I guess, that went along with holding a position for a long period of time. They didn't give you that information. It would just come out of the account. So there wasn't much kind of that you couldn't decide if this ETF was better than this ETF. Whereas with trading, it's all pretty much in front of you and you can see it. You can say, okay, I'm going to be using this broker. I'm going to be trading this uh, asset. And this is how much it's going to cost me to hold this position over weekends and days. So we're having a look at the charts right now. It's a fairly simple um, strategy. I mean, there's not one way of trading this. Okay, if your fundamental analysis is saying go long, you're in a long only strategy and you want to be getting the best entries possible. There are multiple ways to doing that. Whenever I'm looking at the charts and I'm doing my analysis, there are a few things I'm looking at. Okay, I'm looking at key levels. So what do I define by a key level? Um, now, if you've watched anything to do with ICT, you know about order blocks. Now, before I kind of go on to that a little bit more, I want to say order blocks are not everything, right? You can't trade a strategy just on order blocks. They are not, it's not strong enough, right? You need to combine that with other things. And if you've watched ICT or been through his mentorship, you will understand that there are other things that you need to pay attention to, not just order blocks. But order blocks are one of the easiest things to understand and apply to your own trading. And that is something that I do myself. Now, I know that there's probably going to be some of you that have traded ICT for many years and you're, you're looking at my order blocks and you're saying that they're wrong. Don't, I, I couldn't care less, right? I am trading the way that I want to be trading and if it's wrong, that is fine. I could not care less. If I am trading a strategy that is working for me, I don't care if someone else says it's wrong. The the kind of order blocks I'm looking for are things like this. Um, that is a very, very nice one. Obviously, you can see we come back in and dip into that. Um, there's a current one up here as well. And the way that I kind of think about order blocks is the last down candle before an up move. That is as simple as it is. Okay, now there's obviously more to it in terms of if you're probably going to be trading ICT. But if you look for the last down candle before a large up move, that is typically what I would define as an order block for my own trading. So you can see there's quite a few here. Now, once you've kind of marked out your areas, um, what I will do is go down to the one hour. Uh, so that's all I'm doing on the daily. That is it. Now I'm on the one hour and this is where most of my trading will happen. Once I've got these key areas, these will stay here for a long time. But with the now also in terms of an order block, just because there's an order block here doesn't mean I can't trade outside of that order block. If I think that the market is going to be going higher and I'd rather be in a trade and let it um, you know, go down and wander around for a while in drawdown, I am 100% okay with that. My perspective is investing, not trading. That is the mindset I am coming through with this strategy and trading plan. So I am not looking for pinpoint entries where I'm going to be going for one to three risk reward and that is it. Okay. Typically, I won't even have a stop loss. I won't even have a take profit. Um, I will just let the position go and I understand that the probability at, for the market to be going up in my favor within a three to 12 week period is higher than it going down. So that is why I am looking at this from a, an, an investing standpoint. And the order blocks are just the tool that I can use to say, okay, this could be a good area to be buying into. So the next thing I do is add Fibonacci. Now, Fibonacci is used quite a lot for a lot of traders to be a specific entry. For me, it's a zone. And what that zone is, is 0 0.5 to 0 0.66, anywhere around there. So I'll mark that out for you. So anywhere within this, I'm happy to be, to be taking a trade. Anything past this as well. But, you know, if we start breaking this low down here, I'm really not going to be looking for an entry anytime soon before we start trading back up. Um, and the reason for that is because I don't want to be entering a trade down here 
if we've broken this low and we keep trending down because at the end of the day the positions i'm entering i want to be going in my favor as soon as possible now yes i have an investing mindset but i don't want to be sitting in trades that are down a lot or even a massive amount now saying that if this did drop a long way below this low here and it had i don't know i was in that trade for six weeks and we were still below that low then i would be adding positions i i'm not going to be saying okay i'm in one position i can't be entering any more positions i will be spreading those positions out all over the market going bang entry 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 and and you know scaling in scaling out i'm i'm looking at this as more of a portfolio hold not a trading system um this is investing not trading so anywhere within this kind of zone i'll be looking to enter this would be a really nice entry right here but of course you've got an entry right here so that could be a nice entry to be getting into obviously i'm not in this but uh, if i was kind of playing hindsight right now you could have entered right here now i don't know why you would because it seems kind of random but you could stick a limit order at 0 0.5 and enter right there there's lots of different ways to be trading it now i do have williams percent r down here as well um, I don't use it too much, but I do sometimes give myself some clarification with the Williams percent R. Um, it's on a period of 10. Very, very simple. Again, from ICT. I did not make this up myself. Um, and yeah, it's it's sometimes a good tool, but then sometimes it can get you in a little bit of trouble if the market continues to push down uh, further than expected. So um, I don't use it as an entry don't use it as an exit i just use it you know sometimes give it a quick glance and go okay this could be a good area to be buying in now the stuff on the right hand side right here with the previous monthly low previous weekly low uh previous daily low etc etc that is just information i'm not trading off of this i'm not buying or selling the weekly high weekly low it is just information so that i can see where the market is currently at so right now i can see we're basically in the middle of the weekly high and the weekly low. Slap bang in the middle. Which gives me information to say, okay, we're in maybe a little bit of a um, an unknown area right now. We're not sure whether this is going to continue to go lower or continue to go higher. Because of the previous week's high and low, this could pretty much go anywhere. Um, whereas if we were in the previous weekly uh, low or monthly low, and the rest of my analysis was saying this could be a good buy, then I would be happy to go ahead because I'm saying, okay, this is near a previous monthly, weekly low. This is probably a good time to be buying because it's um, in comparison to a previous month, we are at a good price to be buying. That is the trading strategy. It's a very, very uh, liquid trading strategy, I guess is a good way to be saying it. Um, it can go into different forms and it's not a solid you have to follow these kind of rules. The only thing that I do have to follow is the fundamental analysis. If I do not kind of get what I'm looking for with the fundamental analysis, I am not going to be looking at the charts at all. It is, it's not going to be happening. The fundamental analysis decides whether I trade or not. Now, if you are looking for my fundamental analysis, I don't have it anywhere, um, but I could make a video on it. Um, I'm not 100% sure if I want to just yet, but if there is enough interest in that, then I'm happy to do so. If you're looking to actually see my S&P 500 trades and keep up with the uh, trading process that I'm going to be doing and scaling my, my account, then hit the join button below and join the private Discord community where I will also be giving you a little bit of mentoring if you want it. Um, there's a few traders in there that are getting some um some nice gains they're, they're starting to see some improvements in their trading which is really really good to see so i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you do want to be joining that private community and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next video have an amazing day and i'll see you in the next one